Hi, this is my uh, Savage X or XL these days. Uh, the only thing left on it that's X is probably the chassis. Um, it's been completely upgraded. This is pretty much a follow on from my previous video. I uh, took it to Oz and um, beat the crap out of it. Uh, basically, uh, trashed a wheel, shredded a tyre, uh, broke a couple of uprights, various other bits and pieces. But uh, one of the main problems was uh, uh, basically completely trashed both my front and rear uh, diff and bevel gears. Um, I've since upgraded to 29 by 9 bulletproof. Um, however, I would probably be a little reluctant um, to use these too much, um, if at all. Um, they're hugely heavy. Um, and I think that's the main reason why um, my gears were ripped up like they were. I've never had an issue with it before, but um, yeah, they made short work of my diffs, in my opinion. Um, the difference between these and these is minimal. Um, in fact, they're slightly larger, obviously. The Terrapin tyre. Um, huge difference in weight, huge difference in price. Uh, the Terrapin tyre and dish wheel is uh, about a quarter, a third the weight um, and a hell of a lot cheaper too. Um, I also have the Blast wheel and uh, Goliath tyre. Um, they work really well in both grass and in uh, on the bitumen or, or road. Um, they look really trick on the truck as well. Um, and yeah, they're not all so heavy. Not as light as this setup. But still work quite well. Um, yeah, bottom line is I was trying to eliminate as much weight from my, if you've seen my previous videos, I had a steel roll cage, um, which is a little buckled and a little worse for wear these days. Uh, so I, by in eliminating weight, first thing I did was get myself a, uh, a Lexan body, went with the Ford pickup, give it that monster truck look and can't go wrong with the Ford. Uh, also uh, from a previous video your first thing you'll notice is I've got rid of four of my shocks. Um, I was running eight big bores um, but in eliminating weight this made a huge difference. Um, but combined with the wheel combination and the four, taking the four shocks off. I'm not sure how much, but it definitely was a substantial weight difference. Um, I've also gone with a couple of upgrades, uh, battery level indicator and both front and rear uh, sway bar setup. The downside is I had, couldn't use my RPM ARMs, which a little disappointing because they uh, fit really, really snug where it meets up with the uh, diff bulkhead or housing. So that was a little disappointing, but uh, not much I could do there. I couldn't modify it. I looked at it, but it can't be done. So, uh, yeah. Another way of eliminating the weight. Um, I've uh, put, got all, these are all titanium screws all through the front here. Um, completely titanium set up right throughout the front. Um, I've got these pretty looking purple alloy hex heads. I use hex heads wherever I could. Also wherever I had uh, alloy in the past, I've replaced that with, uh, with the original nylon pieces. Again, just to try and eliminate as much weight as I could. However, I kept this, this bar, integer bar. Uh, I just like the way it fills out the car, makes it look quite wide not too narrow and um, for stability. Uh, in the gearing process I also went with a 52 solid steel uh, spur gear. Originally I had uh, alloy lightweight um, but I think uh, the stronger the gearing the better off you're going to be, particularly with a 5.9. Uh, another thing I did uh, I had looked at uh, the baffling for the tank. Um, it was ten dollars from eBay for some foam inserts. Total waste of time. Took forever to put it in there. 
took even longer to get it back out and um, did very little except break up inside the tank and make a mess um, so I probably wouldn't go there um, this is an old idea and it still I think works really well it's about 30 to 40 centimeters of uh, fuel line there put a small filter on it to try and eliminate some of the crap going through the line um, although I always blow brake cleaner after a run through it through the tube uh, just to clean out any residue uh, I also um, put the cooler on there and uh, yeah that seems to eliminate that problem uh, also regarding the tank um, previous videos this is my third fourth tank uh, third or fourth I'm not sure uh, but each time it's been broken in, broken in the exact same way I don't like Rado start I prefer a rip cord personal choice however it uh, comes down and cracks on the tank and the recoil from the 5.9 is quite strong cracks the tank and um, this is my old tank um, I'm just going to show um, it was originally cracked I glued a super glued a piece on there um, just a piece of Lexan body plastic and uh, and then it was okay for a few more weeks and then it cracked as you can see the lip um, which put another hole in it so that was the end of this tank um, so yeah I've uh, this time around I filed down the uh, get down there filed down the lip and uh, put another piece of Lexan body there um, and just super glued that in place and on a final note uh, regarding uh, send pipes these things absolutely rock um, but I've noticed people have done a fair few mods when they've been putting them in um, I didn't do any I just kept it really simple um, that's a 4.6 header on there in the original pieces that's pretty much it thanks for watching Cheers.